Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to actually animate your designs for let's say Dribbble because on Dribbble, some of the animations really make an impact. So the design that we're going to be working on today is a design that I just did recently for the Procurer team. And we're going to be animating like you see it in front of you. So we have the sidebar coming in, we have the header, then we basically have all of these items, and then we have the whole page scrolling. So let's just get into it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your actual design. You need to pick it up. So I'm going to pick my design, which is here. I'm going to paste it in my animation frame. And here it is. I'm going to move it inside of it and basically just center it and obviously give the same spacing from the top and the bottom. Now that you have that, we're basically going to be using variants to animate some of our things. So I'm going to go to my sidebar. I'm going to give a container to it. Uh, by pressing the command shift G key, I'm going to make a component on top of it. I'm going to say sidebar animation, and this is going to be our starting uh, point. I'm going to go ahead and I'm basically just going to drag our sidebar outside. Basically, I can cut it and paste it here. So here's our sidebar. I'm going to basically duplicate it, detach it, and then uh, create a component again. And I'm going to call this stop. So now that I have that done, I'm going to combine both of these as variants. I'm going to remove the clip content. And what we basically need to do is we need on the start frame, we basically have to change the animation to whatever it is that we want. So I'm just going to move it below. And then I am going to link the whole frame or the main component or the variant to the other one. I'm going to say after a delay of, let's say, 1000 seconds, I want it to smart animate ease in and ease out for 800 milliseconds. And let's just see how our design looks. So yeah, currently it's sitting at the bottom. Afterward, it moves, it moves up, and I think that looks good. Obviously, we want it to be hidden on this frame, so I'm going to hide it. And as you can see, this is going to be our sidebar. We're going to do the same thing with, with the header. I'm going to go and, cop and create a frame around the header. I'm going to say this is going to be our header animation slash start. I'm going to create a component, duplicate it, cut the actual component, uh, move it down, create another component, which is going to be our stop frame. Select both of them and basically then just combine them as variants. Once I have that done, I'm basically going to go ahead and select the header that's inside, not the actual variant. That's very important to note. I'm not going to select the actual variant, rather I'm going to select the header that's inside of it. And that should be done. And let's just refresh and see how that looks. So first it comes, so obviously I haven't linked it. So I need to link the, 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 stop, the start variant to the stop variant. I'm going to say after a delay of, let's say, 800 milliseconds, I want it to change to the stop variant. So once it goes up, and then this goes up. And I think the header animation can be faster because it's not traveling as much distance. So yeah, something like this makes sense. I'm going to hide the header then. And here we have the sidebar and then the header. I think that looks good. Now let's do the same with our cards that are that, that we can see above here. I'm going to say these are going to be, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to create a frame around it. I'm going to say requisition stats animation slash start. So this is going to be our frame. I'm basically just going to go ahead and grab the original one here. I'm going to duplicate it, detach it, attach, create a component again. And I'm going to say this is going to be our stop frame. So I'm going to again combine these as variants. I'm going to say the prototype would be linked to this. And after a delay of, let's say, 2000 milliseconds, I want it to um, animate. And I think this animation can be 800 milliseconds. So in this animation, what I want to do is I obviously want to move this down. So that's fine. Now that I have this moved down, I also want to do something else. Let me just go ahead and remove the clip content so I can see it. What I also want to do, I actually want to go ahead, first of all, I want to remove this auto layout. I'm going to remove the auto layout from here as well. Let's just go ahead and remove it. And then we here we have our cards. I'm going to remove the auto layout from them as well because I basically want these cards to be animated slightly differently. So in this example, I'm basically just going to go ahead and grab my requisition stats and my cards down. I'm going to go ahead and I am actually going to grab one of the cards and I'm going to move it down. And then I'm going to select all of the other cards that I have. And I'm going to say I want to distribute the vertical spacing. And I, as you can see, they're now in a diagonal fashion. And now if we have a look at the animation, we have the sidebar coming in, the header, and then the cards. Though I think the cards need to appear after a slightly more delay. So let's just see how that looks. 
So I think that probably looks good. One thing that I do want to point out is I can see the cards coming from the outside. So I'm going to add a clip content to basically the cards frame. So here we have our cards. I'm going to add a clip content to the cards frame and let's see how that looks. So I think this probably looks good. I'm going to remove this clip content because that's obviously removing the shadow that we have. One other thing that we can do here now is we can just go ahead and actually hide this whole thing. And now let's have a look. Yep, I think that looks good. One thing though, however, that I've noted is that let me just go ahead and actually move it on top. Now that we have that moved on top, we're going to see how that looks. I still can see it outside and I think the reason is because I need to actually clip content on the cards as well. So I'm once I do that, as you can see, it now slides in really well. So that's done. Let's just go ahead and actually move this out of the way. Let's do the same thing for our action spending. I'm going to go ahead, first of all, detach it and I am going to create a frame around it. I'm going to say this is going to be our right content animation slash start. Um, duplicate it, basically then cut it and paste the start animation here, the stop there, going to detach it and create a component again and combine them as variants. In this case, I also want to do something similar. So let's just go ahead and actually drag this whole thing at the bottom. Um, or maybe in this case, maybe we don't want to, or maybe, or let's just actually drag it. I'm dragging it because I want a consistent similar feel to it. And now basically let's also detach this thing. I'm going to detach it from here as well. So both of the shapes or both of the objects are consistent. So in this case, I'm basically going to say that I'm going to move it down. And in this case, I'm going to again detach the auto layout here. And I'm going to say that the spacing in between them is going to be slightly larger. Even here, the spacing is going to be larger because I want to achieve a particular effect. And now let's see how that looks. I also obviously need to link it, which I sometimes forget doing. So on a delay of, let's say, 33,000 seconds, let's see how that looks. So here we have it. I think that looks good. One thing that I do want to point out is here I want to hide it again. And even here I want to hide it. So let's just see how that looks now. So yeah, this looks good. Now we again want to animate this graph in a very similar fashion. Again, if you don't want to animate all of these things separately, then you can basically animate them just uh, all of them together. Like for example, the whole center section together, but sometimes if you actually animate them differently, they look good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a frame around this. First of all, I'm actually going to detach the, or actually remove the auto layout. I am going to go ahead and name just going to show you guys what it looks like. Just going to move it upwards. So here we have the RFQ over time and then animation slash start. I'm going to create a component here, duplicate it, and then going to move the main component at the bottom. And basically, I'm just going to detach it here, going to make it stop and combine them. I'm going to go ahead and link the prototype after a delay of, let's say, I don't know, 4,200 milliseconds. Again, I'm all doing this like in my head, obviously just to be very precise, you have to do it by thinking about like the different times and seeing if they look good. So now if we just basically move it upwards, let's see how that looks. So I think that probably looks good though. Maybe I want the chart to appear after the heading. So if we wanna have that effect, we obviously wanna move the chart down. So yeah. I think that looks good and let me see if we can act if you want to do anything on the chart for example if you want to hide this color we can and then only have it visible when the chart appears upwards so for example like this actually i, I can't really notice a, a huge difference so i'm just going to remove it so i think that's done now we can obviously all of the other items at the bottom i'm not sure if i want to go ahead and actually configure them separately because they're already off the screen but I'm just going to go ahead and configure this item um, separately because that's on the screen even when we're actually showing it. So I'm going to make it, yeah, I'm going to create a frame around it. I'm going to say that this is going to be a start frame duplicated and basically just paste it here. 
this is going to be a start and this is going to be our stop like before detach it make it a component again combine these as variants uh, link these two so i'm going to link them i'm going to say after a delay of let's say 5500 milliseconds i want this whole thing to basically just move down and i want these charts to be slightly down as well so now let's see how this whole animation looks so i think it looks good the one thing that i actually missed is i want to drag this whole thing at the bottom not just uh, these two things and then i want to move these things at the bottom as well and this also a bit at the bottom and then i want to hide this whole thing and let's see how that looks so we have the sidebar the header the chart the stats the action spending the rfqs and the breakdown I think the actual action pendings should actually come like a bit afterwards. I'm going to change this to 3500. Let's just do that and see how that looks. Sidebar, header, stats, action spending, RFQs, and then breakdown of requisitions. I think the breakdown of requisitions should come a bit faster. So I'm going to change this to let's say 4000. Let me just see if I'm actually, sorry, it's not this one. It's actually this one. I'm going to make it 5,000 and let's just see how that looks. Okay, so I think that looks pretty okay. One thing uh, that I probably want to do is I want to add another graph that I've actually created here. So if we choose it, so if we act, if I actually choose a line graph here, so instead of a Drawing a bar graph, I'm actually going to have a line graph at the bottom so I can see it slightly. And then instead of a bar graph in this case, I'm going to actually add a, or instead of a line graph in this case, I'm actually going to add a bar graph. So just, let's just see how that looks. Mm, I mean, it looks fine. I think it probably looks fine. So let's just go ahead and actually update that. So I obviously have to update that here as well. So I'm going to go to this particular graph and I'm going to say this is going to be a bar graph. So just to be consistent in both cases and then I'm going to hide this thing. Similarly here I'm going to go to my component which is this one. I'm going to make it visible and I'm going to say this is going to be a line graph that's going to be green. Uh, that's going to be green. So here we have it and I'm going to hide it again. So now let's see how that looks. Sidebar, header, stats action spending rfqs and then breakdown of requisitions so this pretty much looks good after a while though so once we have all of these things in inside in view whatever you want to call it i'm actually just going to go ahead and actually enable all of these so i'm going to say this particular thing is going to be at its stop animation this is also going to be at its stop animation uh, these few elements so sorry this element is also going to be at the stop this one is also going to be at the stop and this one will also be at the stop along with this one. So once we have this, for example, once we have all of this animation done, I'm going to say after a, let's say, I don't know, a delay of 6,000 milliseconds, I basically want to go ahead and move this whole thing up so I can present some of the content that's, that's at the bottom as well. So let's just refresh it and see how that looks. Sidebar, header, stats pen actions rfqs and then we basically move the whole thing upwards and i just want to press z so we can see the whole screen i don't know why i didn't do that sorry for that so here we have the rfqs the breakdown of requisitions and here we have the whole sliding let's do that let's just see if we can actually do any tweaks here so i think this rfqs animation and the action spending animation can be slowed down a bit so i am going to go ahead to my rfqs uh the stats animation actually the stats one are fine let's just go to this animation i'm going to change this to 1000 i'm going to change this to 1000 as well and now since i changed that to 1000 i'm going to basically make it 4500 and i also have to change this to 1000 let's just go ahead and do that and let's just change it to 5500 and here basically in this case let me just remove this move it on the side in this case, I basically want to change it to 6500 and let's just see how that looks. So the sidebar, the header, the stats, action spending, RFQs, breakdown, 
and then it basically moves up. I think this overall looks good. I think the header can be slowed down a bit as well. Let's just change that to 800 and see how that looks. So yeah, I think that pretty much looks good. And that's how you can go ahead and create an animation for Dribble, even directly in Figma. If you want to see how to actually use some of the other tools like Proto, uh, Protopie, After Effects, for these animations, definitely let me know. But I think a lot of the things that we want done can actually be done directly in Figma. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.